The tension in here tonight is fantastic. You can cut the air with a knife. Tenshin Nascawa about to face Argentinian Federico Roma. Federico Roma looks like he's definitely in some great shape. Three three-minute rounds as usual with the other tournament bouts with the possibility of one extra round. Federico Roma, 63-4 and 1 as professional, 30 wins by way of knockout. Tenshin Nascawa, 28 and oh, he is undefeated with 21 wins by way of knockout. He's also fought in MMA and mixed rules, but tonight, this is his home. This is where he is comfortable, where he is happiest. This is where he enters the matrix. Matchup of Southpaws. And let's go actually be the Roma's teammate. Last year or a couple years ago. So we'll see if Roma, I'm sure he has revenge on his mind. Look at the focus on the face of Federico Roma. The first round bell rings and we are off straight in there with a very tight guard. Popping in the jab is Roma. Tenshin replies with a teep. The long jab himself. Tenshin Nascar both in orthodox, sorry, southpaw. Very, very tight guard by Roma. Yeah. I'm sure he, he's very aware of uh, Natsukawa's uh, one punch power, one kick, one knee power. And Tenshin goes to the body. And the crowd woos. Tenshin, a firm favorite to win this tournament. Although, should he win this fight, Alex, he will be facing Sakim PK Senchai. And that is possibly one of the toughest kickboxing fights of his career. Very nice uh, body shot, left hand of the body by Natsukawa. We're going to push him out. Flying knee, rocking his head back against the ropes there. The crowd going wild. Natsukawa is just phenomenal to watch, Alex. Everything he does, he just seems to see things in a different way. His vision and distance are uh, second to none. Oh, truly incredible. 20, 20 years of age. And back down, what Dennis says again. Left knee and a left body shot. Bullies his way into the corner there, forcing Roma to circle out. Roma with a slight smile on his face by the look of it. He seems to be settled in and enjoying himself now. Tentative looking Tenshin Nascawa at the moment with just one minute left in round one on the clock. Nascawa's corner telling him to go low again. And he does. Always a sign of a very relaxed fighter. You hear your uh, coach's instructions and you respond immediately. Yeah. Do not blink, ladies and gentlemen. What could happen at any moment here in this main event of the evening? Somebody could go to sleep. And that's good. He's found a home for that yeah. left, uh, left, lo left low kick. Oh, nice spin back kick there. Yeah, he's finished some tough fighters with that. Once again with that low kick. He's got it all done. He's got the punches, the knees, the kicks. There's the end of the first round. That first round finishing off with Roma 
and put on a little bit of pressure, but he had to because Nascau was just popping in jabs at will. Roma, I've seen him, uh, one of his fights today, he's very, uh, doesn't overextend himself, always in control, but he did wild. There's the flying knee attempt from Nascau in that first round. He followed it up with a high kick, just bullying Roma into the corner there, rock his head back, finding a way through that tight guard of Federico Roma. Roma definitely needs to land something, get his pound of flesh, get his respect, otherwise Nascar at his pace, he'll be all over him. Yeah, he's just going to keep doing everything he's done so far in the gym and in fights. He needs to land something. Yeah, Roma has to, you're right, he has to land something, he has to scare him a little bit, but he has to keep the pressure on him. Round two underway. Back at it with the lead hands. Just the speed of these two is phenomenal. Right in front of our eyes here. I hope it translates to everybody watching around the world on Fight TV. Some air shots there from Roma. Scala just stepping back. Roma's going to tighten up his punches, make it a little more compact, otherwise he's not going to land. There's that tight guard again. Doing the job for Roma so far. I'm not sure exactly right now what he wants to do. Like, does he want to punch or like with a low kick? Now he's, uh, doesn't seem to have a clear vision of his clear plan. But then again, with Natsuko on the other end, on the side of the ring. So there's lots of plans. Oh, nice body shot there, left hand. He's got Roma backed up here. Tenshin Natsukawa just eases off slightly and then turns up the pressure. That, that gap in, in how he moves and switches up the pace is just beautiful to watch. Any martial artist that doesn't appreciate that, in my book, is not a martial artist. He's got his distance down, that's for sure. I like him going back to that uh, low left kick. He was making some, uh, oh, making some hay with that in the first round. Nice body shot again, the left hand. That body shot thuds in, he'll be open upstairs. Less than one minute left in round two. Nascawa, every time he throws in those body shots, they're extremely hard, and Roma is not grimacing, but I would not be surprised if they're affecting him. He's uh, not throwing much either. I think he's getting so much... Uh, oh, there we go, there we go. Well, just right when I was talking about that low, low kick, very damaging. Nascawa with a big That's left cross. Nice job of keeping the distance. Roma fights his way out of the corner. Some rolling thunder from Tenshin. Nascar doesn't land there, back at it. Closing seconds of this round two in the main event of the evening. There you go, Roma. He's uh, closing distance better right now. That's what he needs to do. Oh, beautiful front kick to the face there from Tenshin Natsukawa. End of round two. Roma looks a bit frustrated at the end of the round there. He, uh, like he just can't get off. Yeah, he's, he's focusing so much on his guard and blocking everything. Um, he's, he is landing some low kicks and, you know, a couple of punches, but like you said, he's not, he's not able to open up the way he wants to uh, on somebody like Nascala. I think he has to, you know, throw caution to the wind in his final round because in my opinion, he's lost the first and second round, so he needs a knockdown or knockout. You're right. Advance. You are right, Alex. He doesn't have too much to lose. And that could be what makes him dangerous coming into this third and final round. He's going to throw, you know, just throw caution in the wind, just throw everything. Second down. Round three. Third and final round here tonight at the 
Ota City Gymnasium in Tokyo, Japan. We are live on Fight TV, and this is Tenshi Nasukawa versus Federico Roma. Some more pressure for Roma there. We we'll see if he's doing a little better this round. Yep. He realizes it's fights on the line. He has to make something happen. He has to take it to him. You're right. He's got to keep it on. He's got to lay it on him and just keep throwing everything he has. That's a down. That apparently, as it looked to me like he was uh, held his kick and knocked him down. But doesn't look to be much damage. No. Either, either way, though, Roma, he's got to just turn it on. Yeah, yeah, that's, that wasn't exactly a turning point in the fight, but now talking about turning it on, Tenshi Nasukawa has switched up the pace. He has entered the matrix and he has opened up the face of the Argentinian. Lots of damage here. Boom, front kick to the face. Big cut, I'm not seeing exactly where the cut is right now, a lot of, oh, over his right eye. That looks pretty bad too. The first doctor check we've had here tonight. Possibly one of the merits of having uh, no elbow rules. Exactly. Let's see if he can continue. Let's see if we can get an angle on that and have a look at the cut. Oh, that's right on the arm. Oh, that's quite deep too. Yeah, it's fairly open. The, the question is, you know, can they, uh, can they patch it up and stop it from bleeding Possibly profusely? Possibly, this is the first round, they we might stop it or let it go for a bit. This is the third round, so we can let him fight on. Back at it. Nascala smells blood. Nice straight left hand by Nascala. Oh, going down, up, down says again. He just throws so many punches in such a short space of time. And there is the classic Tenshi Nascala pose with just... 90 seconds left on the clock, he knocks down the Argentinian Federico Roma and it is all over! Tenshi Nascala takes the victory over the Argentinian, demolishing him in that round. He is up on top of the ropes here, doing his usual showboating and rightly so. Incredible work from the young 20-year-old prodigy himself, Tenshi Nascala, defeating Federico Roma and therefore moving through to the semi-finals securing his place against a formidable opponent Joaquim PK Senchai who he will face in July this year Roma's okay he's up on on his feet ah, as okay as he can be with a large card of his eye being knocked out One minute, 35 seconds in the third round of this main event and the first round of this tournament this evening. Tenshi Nascala victorious. Let's get a look at that replay right there. There's the first down, left hand there. Here's a knockout. Ooh, a little bit of a capoeira type kick. They're putting his glove on the ground and bringing up the left roundhouse. Boom. Buckled him. It's a famous uh, name escapes right now. Thai, very famous uh, legendary Thai fighter. Uses that technique a lot. It was beautiful. Signature moves from the young prodigy himself, Tenshi Nasukawa. His father in the corner there looking happy as usual. Must be an incredible feeling seeing your son perform at such a high level, such a high international level. He still has his work cut out though. He has to face Swakim PK Senshai in the semi-finals and the winner of that will face the winner of Shiro and Runkit. He fought Swakim before and won the decision, but it was a tough decision and Swakim had trouble making weight. Next time, I think he's uh, Swakim will be a little bit better with the uh, making weight. Could be a very different fight.
Good evening, it's been a while, everybody. I didn't think it would turn out like this, but I made my comeback here tonight. When I fought Mayweather, I think I went a little bit overboard. And it was a huge experience for me, and I, I'm taking something good from it. I feel that kickboxing is the number one sport. And everybody, please come and join us in Osaka for the semi finals. Please expect more from me. And thank you very much, everyone here tonight. Well, there we have it. Tenshin Nasukawa, the Rise Featherweight World Champion. And now, he is gunning for the Rise World Series 58 kilogram tournament championship. Here's some of that action, that last kick taken out. The Argentinian. Incredible damage. Incredible skill, incredible timing. His speed is phenomenal. 